<laughs> Hello, beautiful people. I just um, just had a slight hiccup, so I had to just quickly pause and make sure I had plenty of battery, <laughs> plenty of power, um, and then I've just jumped back on. So if you saw me start and then stop, here I am. <laughs> How are you? How is everybody? Let me just check in first of all with you all. We have got, I think it's five sleeps till Christmas. Um, and whatever that means for you, whether that is a time of, um, it's your favorite time of the year or it's your least favorite time of the year or it doesn't have any, it's like meh for you. Whatever it is for you is perfect because it is coming from within you. So let me begin there. Um, I wanted to talk today again today will not go anywhere near for an hour in fact it'll probably be the shortest and sweetest and quickest uh, of all the empower hours for the year and um, it's it's a little add-on I guess it's an add-on to two things it's an add-on to last week if you're jumping on with me um, please just give me a little hi how are you going so it's a little add-on to last week's empower hour so if you haven't seen that check it out and it's also just a little add-on to the posts that I've the 12 days of conscious Christmasing who have I got with me I can see a little heart so thank you oh beautiful Christy hello beautiful it's really just a little add-on to um, the 12 days of conscious Christmasing that I've been sharing as well so it's a little inquiry today and it really is to help us be a little, you know, to, to help us be even more conscious, even more conscious of ourselves and the part we're playing in the story of our lives. And so that's why today is called, What Part Are You Playing? And so I'm just going to dive right on in with this. So a few days ago, um, I, well, a little while ago now, not a few days ago, I was just sitting with a group of women and just participating in a conversation. And I was participating as a listener and, and one of the women was sharing a story about um, a, a, an issue that she'd had with her dad. And, you know, and there is no judgment here other than she was sharing how it was for her and so it was a situation where and I'll just nutshell this but you may relate and if not you may have a story like this happening in your life in fact we all will in some degree so the story kind of went that um, her dad hadn't been honest with her about something um, honesty was one of her highest values she absolutely um, just said that's just not happening um, and kicked her dad out of her house that's the nutshell version of it and this she may well be a hundred percent right in the way she approached that and I'm going to say for her in the moment she was and something that I am an absolute stand for is for all of us to live in a peaceful and empowered place in our life and where does this come from it comes from the concept of cause and effect. So I notice often when people are sharing with me, whether it's a client, whether it's a, you know, just whether I happen to be sitting in witness to a conversation that's occurring. And please know, it was, you know, I didn't, you know, it was not my place to jump in and um, share anything with this beautiful beautiful woman other than to receive her story and which I did had she asked me <laughs> she didn't but had she asked me um, I would have offered something along these lines and I wanted to share it with you guys today so when we move from the from the universal law of cause and effect cause and effect is just as simple as um, is something happening to us or are we creating how we want it to be? That's the simple nutshell version of cause and effect. And this isn't, isn't about that. Today's question is to ask you, 
whatever it is that you've got going on in your life, whatever situation is occurring for you, whatever story is playing out in your life, whether it's a story between you and someone else, whether it's um, a situation where the things that you want for yourself are not happening, whether it's, um, whether it's a, a circumstance that isn't going your way, the question I'm going to offer you today, and you all know I love asking questions, the question that I'm asking you today is to, is to ask yourself, what, what part am I playing in this? Because here's the thing, no matter what is playing out in our life, we are either playing the part of the effect or we are playing the part of the cause. We are either in this is happening to me or we are, I am creating this just the way I want it. Now, just back to my example, there's no right or wrong for how that beautiful woman you know, handled the situation with her dad. It can only be right for her. However, where I would go with that would be to ask myself, what, what role, what part did I play in this situation playing out the way it did? How could I have um, been clearer in my communication? How could I have um, expressed myself more fully leading up to the situation? And how can I, how can I you know, really clearly communicate about this situation now versus just doing the shutters down, lights out, we're calling it. <laughs> what part am I playing in this? Am I playing the part of, uh, of what I want? Am I playing the part of uh, victim? Am I playing the part of this happened to me? Am I playing the part of, um, you know, the higher road? There's no right or wrong answer to this question, but it is a, it, it is a question that if we are willing to inquire at this level, will give us a pathway to a more peaceful solution. So, yeah, what part am I playing? I'm not sure how, where else I can really take this conversation. As I said, it, I did say it would be a very short and to the point uh, empower, <laughs> not even hour today, empower minute today. Whenever I find myself in conflict with anything, I never go to the, to the thing. I never, I mean, of course I do initially. Why? Because I'm, we're human. Of course you're going to have your human reaction. Of course. And then I come back to myself and begin to ask questions here with me to, cre to create peace and harmony back in my being. And the only way to do that is from within. Because if we're going to sit around waiting for someone's uh, ideals to line up with ours, we're going to be waiting a hell of a long time. And just let's say that they do for one day, they may not line up for the next day. And so how do we get to have peaceful relationships? How do we get to have peaceful communications? How do we get to have um, a peaceful um, existence? Well, it comes back to us. And the question is, what, what part am I playing in this? Am I playing the part of, of uh, exacerbating this or am I playing the part of creator? You know, for me, my parents have passed away now. For me, um, no matter what, I wouldn't spend one day, one day in conflict with my parents. Now, I want to be clear here and say, not being, you know, choosing that doesn't mean that I have to have them in my life or in my space. I get to, I get to be powerful around that. And I don't know everyone's circumstance who will be watching this. But this isn't about them. This is about creating that peace within yourself. How do I get to dissolve this conflict in me? Well, one of the ways you get to dissolve the conflict by asking what part are you playing? Perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps the part you're playing 
is keeping the story alive in your body. Now, I don't know how many times this woman had shared this story, but even if she'd shared it more than once, even if she'd shared it twice, she's playing the part of keeping that story alive in her body. She's playing the part of keeping that story alive in her life, in her family, in her energy, all of which is not going to be conducive to peace and harmony from within. And any, at any point that we don't have peace and harmony within our bodies, that's going to impact how we interact with the world going forward. So every interaction that we have, whilst we don't have peace and harmony within, is going to be impacted. So for me, it's like, I, I am a, I'm a hell no, I'm a full hell no to walking around with conflict in my body. Full hell no, because I know it's going to show up in all of my interactions. It's going to show up, you know, when I'm trying to resolve something with Telstra, for example. It's going to show up when I'm trying to find a car park. It's going to show up when I'm trying to, um, you know, find that last minute Christmas gift. Whatever we are carrying within is what we are going to create without. So if there is conflict going on within your life, clear that shit up. That's my invitation. And this is this, if ever we're going to experience, you know, have conflict become present, it's usually around this time of the year. And if you are experiencing conflict, please know that I send all my love to you and all my compassion to you. And what I want for you, what I want for you is to find your own way to dissolve that conflict. Because whilst we're waiting for it to be handed to us by the other person, we're just carrying that conflict around in our bodies for way longer than we need to. We can resolve it ourselves. Ask, what part am I playing? What part am I playing in, in keeping this story going? What part am I playing in, in you know, what part was I, am I playing in, in creating this story? What was my role in this story? I'll give another example. Um, with my daughter, um, I can remember a time I shared this story not long ago. I don't think I shared it here, but I shared it not long ago. Um, I think I shared it in the Sacred Sister Circle. P.S. If you want to know how to be a part of that in 2022, please reach out. You will be so grateful that you did join this extraordinary community of women. But I shared this story with my daughter and I, about my daughter and I remember, um, and this was after I'd done a heck of a lot of work on myself and my daughter and I, it was probably maybe four or five years ago, four years ago, and my daughter and I had a big argument. I think it was on the phone. I can't even remember what it was about, but we had a big argument and I was so right that I was right, right? If you want to, you know, have a look at the concept of right or wrong um, or my take on it, have a look at my book. I have three whole chapters dedicated to right, <laughs> being right. But my daughter and I had a big argument and, and I, I'm going to assume I was certain I was right. And what I did was I ended up hanging up the phone and I just cut her off, right? I didn't tell her I was cutting her off, but I physically cut her off. I didn't message her for the next day, I, for the next rest of the day. I didn't message her. I didn't send her, you know, I didn't phone her. I didn't... Um, I think we were in the same house at this point when she came home. I didn't ask her how her day was. I literally gave her the silent treatment. And every day I would wake up and I would, um, I would say to myself, are, are you, how long are you going to keep this going? You know you can, you can resolve this and give this conflict up right away. And I would go, no, nah, I'm not. So I'd carry the conflict for another day. Third day I would wake up and I'd go, you know, you can, you know, you can be done with this just like that. And I would go, nah, I'm going to carry it for, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready. And my point here is on the fourth day I did, on the fourth day I woke up and I went, okay, how long are you going to keep this going for? You know, you can dissolve this anytime you choose to. And I reached out to her and sent her a message and I said, I'm so sorry, beautiful I'm so sorry. I, I really don't like arguing with you. And I know we don't have to agree on everything. I love you. Words to that effect. 
and she messaged me back instantly oh mum I love you too we don't have to agree on everything blah 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 and you know and instantly instantly peace and harmony was restored in my body peace and harmony was fully restored in my body and it was fully restored in her now this isn't about them this is about us what part was I playing in that? The part I was playing in that was that I was keeping, I was, I was completely attached that I had to be right, that I was right. The second I could make space for us not having to agree on everything and I could still love her and still be present for her, everything shifted. I'm not saying this is an easy road to take. Sometimes the, you know, the, the road to peace and harmony isn't the easiest road to take. Maybe not in the short term, but I promise you in the long term it will. Because wherever there's conflict in your life that is unresolved, it will be playing out in your life in other, other ways and other spaces as well. So this is a question for you to become super conscious with yourself. What role am I playing in this? Whatever, whatever this is for you this Christmas that is a conflict that you don't want to have anymore. Or maybe, maybe you do. Both is perfect. But checking into last week's, just notice that if you are choosing to keep it, just like I chose to keep playing my story out for four days with my daughter, that you're doing that consciously. No one's doing that to you. That's a choice that you are making that you can unmake anytime you want to. Mm. Hmm. So good to be here with you beautiful people. I have been away this past weekend um, uh, experiencing the most sacred um, shamanic medicine journey and it it was just out of this world in so many ways and it truly and it's probably why I'm sharing with you what I'm sharing with you now because it just um, what I what I brought away from the experience was just a deeper deeper level of love and reverence for myself and um, I experienced the energy of, of mother and mother energy which to me is just pure love it's just the purest form of love um, and I guess I got really clear and shown how unimportant most of our stories are yeah yeah when we can you know and here's something I'll leave with leave you with as well you know um it just as a visual and if you're not a if you're not visual people then you know that's okay but I would invite you to imagine so imagine close your eyes and just do a little visualization and if you have children um try this looking through their eyes and if you um, are a child <laughs> and we're all children imagine um, doing this with your own mother you can do it both ways I've I experienced it fully both ways so imagine um, that moment of birth and the moment of birth where um, you've given birth to a child or you've been born and imagine when you open your eyes and you see your mother or you look down and you see your child. Just in that moment before anything else comes in, before the world comes in, before the doctors and nurses come in, before the midwives come in, before anything comes in. I want you to breathe in what is really present in that moment. That's what I choose. That's what I'm choosing 
to breathe into my life every day, every moment of every day. That purity, that neutrality of just <sighs> pure love. Pure love, pure acceptance, pure harmony. Mm. There's no conflict. And there's no place for conflict. Not in this body anyway. This is my last Empower Hour for, yeah, I think it'll be my last Empower Hour for 2021. Unless something comes through next uh, next Monday, we'll see. If something comes through, I'll jump on and share. Um, yeah, I um, have had some really big shifts come through for me since uh, from the last weekend. I'm so excited for journeying with women in 2022 for helping them come home to the truth of who they are for helping them arrive in a space of reverence for themselves to walk with them and help them to see the beauty in their um, in themselves and and to really bow at their own feet yeah, to really be willing to bow at their own feet. That's what has occurred for the Sacred Sisters this year. And it's just the most exquisite thing. So I'm really looking forward to that and doing, doing more of that work uh, with women in 2022. Mm. Imagine a world filled with women that are just so full of peace and harmony within themselves. Oof. I think it was the Dalai Lama that said it will be, um, it will be um, the modern woman that changes the world, and I fully believe that. I fully believe that. And for that to occur, reconciling our inner conflicts is a really big part of that. Um, arriving in a space where giving yourself full permission for anything and everything is just who you are and then consider that's what your te what we are imparting to our children that way of being mm. all right beautiful people i love you lots please reach out if i can support you in any way and i will see you here in the group some more <laughs>